Welcome to my new tutorial series. In this series, we're going to get into debugging. We're going to start looking at a lot of the things that the Learn section of Unity doesn't teach you and how to fix problems in code when you have them. So there's three main types of errors that you'll come across when scripting with Unity. These are compile time errors, runtime errors, and bugs. We'll go through each of them in turn. Compile time errors are those errors that occur when your script compiles. They occur after you hit save. They'll prevent you from pushing the play button. They're always related to syntax, and they're typically very easy to fix. Next up are runtime errors. Runtime errors occur while you're playing the game. These errors often don't stop play, but they'll sometimes make play behave unusual. These are related to assumptions you made in your code, things you thought would be true but aren't true. They're slightly harder to fix than compile time errors, but they're still reasonably easy. The last type of error you'll encounter is a bug. No error occurs, things just don't work the way you intended. These are all related to problems with the logic of your code and can sometimes be the very difficult to diagnose and fix. Fortunately, there's a lot of tools we have to help us debugging. First, we've got the console, we've got the debug.log statement, we've got the documentation, and if you're really struggling, you can go to the community. So let's take a look at all of those tools one at a time. The first tool is the console. It's this little bar down the bottom. If you double click on it, it will bring up this menu which will show you all of the errors that are currently in your scripts. Each error has a line number, and it has an error code, and it has a description. If you double click on the error, it will take you to the script in MonoDevelop with the error. In this case, we've simply missed a semicolon at the end of start. The next tool is the debug.log statement. Debug.log lets you send messages of your own to the console. Really useful for finding where your code is stopping or what parts of your logic aren't happening. So if we add a debug.log to our start, and then we'll just attach that to an empty game object in the scene. And then when we hit play, You can see our message start running turns up. You can also pass in object references and do a bunch of other things. The next place we'll look is the documentation. The documentation's all online. And if you just type in, in Google Unity Scripting API and then whatever you're interested in using. In this case, we'll just use the debug.log. And there you go, there's our link to the debug.log you can click on that and you can see all sorts of useful information about this method and how it works the other place to be aware of is msdn we can go to msdn and look read about all of the classes of the part of the .NET framework as well as things like what the compiler errors mean you type in the error code and it will take you to a page that tells you all about that error The next place you can go for help is to go to the Unity community. We're a really helpful bunch. You've got the forums and you've got answers. Answers is a great place you can go. You can see all the different questions that people have posted in the past. It has its own search functionality. So if you simply type in the error code you're experiencing, you'll come up with a bunch of other people who've had the same problem and you can often use their solutions to find out why your problem isn't working. Let's say you don't find a solution there, then you can always ask your own question. There's the ask a question button here. Make your question as specific as possible. Paste code examples 
and try generally try and make it easy for people to help you thanks for watching and next time we'll start talking about individual errors